Greetings, Guardians, and welcome to Destiny 2. After the reveal on Twitch today, a lot of press has been going on, a lot of coverage, a lot of really cool stuff about weapons, about subclasses, so I decided to do something a little less sexy than that. I wanted to talk about the UI. I want to talk about the user interface and kind of what we can expect in Destiny 2 to happen whenever we go into our menu. Now, obviously, you're seeing some gameplay right now, but I do want to talk briefly about the weapons and how exactly that's going to interact with your user interface. So for one thing, we have three slots, as we do in Destiny 1, for weapons. However, there are some minor changes. The first slot for weapons will be kinetic damage only. No elemental damage for your first primary weapon slot. The second weapon slot, which can contain the exact weapon types of the first, so things like auto rifles, scout rifles, hand cannons, sidearms even, can be used in that second slot, but with elemental damage buffs. The third slot will be known now as power weapons, not heavy weapons, power weapons. Power weapons include shotguns, grenade launchers, heavy machine guns, which I've only seen a couple of. I've only seen some mini guns. I don't know about heavy LMGs like the Coulomb's Terminus or, or anything like that. I'm not really sure if those weapon types still exist within the game because I've only seen mini guns as machine guns. However, that's obviously neither here nor there. Uh, rocket launchers, of course, are still in the game, but your power weapons don't just include those that you might expect. We're looking at things like fusion rifles, snipers, and shotguns. Now, obviously, this isn't necessarily what people would assume. Uh, it's not what people thought was going to happen. As you can see here, the current Guardian using the new Dawnblade class, currently using a primary that does not have an elemental damage to it. Uh, it's the secondary has solar damage, and as you'll see in just a second, the dubious volley, which we'll talk about later in another video, has arc damage to it. And my god, look at that thing go. It's so cool. It's so cool. So yeah, I wanted to take a look at the UI that we have, um, kind of what it looks like, and use some still images to show you guys how it's going to affect your experience now in Destiny 2. The first thing that comes to mind when I see the user interface is just how clean it looks, how vibrant the colors look, and how attractive it is. It's not really bland. It's not just a white, see-through-ish kind of background, kind of like what we have with Destiny 1, but it's really vibrant. The colors really pop, and it looks really fantastic. Secondly, the thing that I notice is the lock down in the bottom right of the screen where we're used to artifacts being located. Artifacts don't seem to appear at this point in Destiny 2. However, we have seen information on Twitter, various streamers, content creators have confirmed that it says clan banner or clan emblem. It does not say artifact, so it appears as though that they have gotten rid of the artifact for the time being. The third thing that I notice, other than the really, really cool Dawnblade symbol and the neatness with which you can switch your subclass, um, is the purple gem crystal-like looking thing in the top right corner. I'm not really sure what that is exactly. Maybe that's our new legendary currency. That's my assumption at least. But what exactly is it? It kind of looks like a crossover between the Amethyst that we saw in House of Wolves with the Awoken and Iridium from Borderlands. Now, I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's kind of what it looks like, right? I mean, just a little bit. Honestly, I could go on for a year just about how cool all of the stuff is that we've only seen today and not even been able to get our hands on. Embargo is going to be lifted soon, so there'll be tons of Crucible videos out there. I just wanted to get this out there before that hit the fan. And I thank you guys so much for coming by and checking out the video. Please feel free to subscribe, hit a like button if you enjoyed the video. If not, that's cool too. I'll see you guys back inside Destiny.